Okay, so sculpting a character can be hard, but today I'm going to walk you through how to create a simple base mesh to so maybe help you along the way when you're sculpting your characters. Let's go. First off, let's go armature, basic, human. Cool. And then we can just use this or even go for the more complex one, armature, human. And that kind of just has the general proportions of a character. Let's go uh, add some models. So let's go add in a cube and subdivide this. I'm just going to press control two. So press control two and you can get a subdivided uh, cube like this. I'm going to apply it, control a visual geometry to mesh and then start down like this. And then so let's rotate and start shaping this into a rip cage. Put on my X mirror and then drag this out and then put this there. This is going to be a male character. Um, maybe like some wider shoulders. I guess we can work that in with the muscle, the shoulder muscles and arms. It doesn't really convey in the rib cage, but it's kind of just like the base of the body um, there. And then we're going to go add another cube. Same thing. Scale as uh, scale it down. Uh, visual geometry to mesh with a subdivided cube. Just press Control Two to add it in. Uh, X mirror. And it's going to be here just to kind of be like the intermediary between the just kind of like the stomach area between the pelvis and the um between the pelvis and the rib cage cool and another one control two this is going to be for the pelvis apply probably just scale this up a bit just to fit the pelvis kind of shape a bit more so here and then yeah that should be fun for now we're gonna work just work on getting like everything down just to like the simplest things quickly um and then work on like adding the details and stuff off to get like the general shapes um let me just quickly set up something on my second screen for like a silhouette of my character i thought it was very very useful to use it okay and then maybe also bring this stomach part of it up or just bring this part in or forward and then maybe add a little bit of detail just so we can like sculpt it out for the kind of rib cage like this and then also round it out because so the rib cage is square right there okay cool and there that should be fun and then round that part off Cool. Then let's go add another cube. It's going to be for the shoulder, stop the bard. And then we're going to go to sculpt mode. Don't need to mirror it because uh, the mirror, in, yeah, because we just add a mirror modifier. Um, so this will go here. Bring it up to the body. And then it's kind of like shorter and then like kind of peaks over here it's kind of like a uh, shape like that um so it kind of like tars into the front a little bit don't take that as advice because i'm not i don't know anatomy uh so let's mirror this and then we can go shift a add a cube subdivided and it's going to be for the traps so here, maybe I said just select the what's that the trap one and then select the shoulder. Go copy to selected. Um, so it just copies it to anything that you have selected afterwards or before. Um, so you can just use that quickly if you need. Especially like adding a bunch of mirror modifiers, no point in making a bunch of them. Just add one and then copy it to all the other ones that you have. There. Uh, let's go add a neck. So let's just go cube, subdivide. You know, I'm a lot of subdivided cubes today. Um, there. Let's drag this down. Drag that in. Oh, wait, we didn't have it X mirrored. So let's go back to the beginning. Drag this down. Drag it up. There. And then we can go add a face. So let's just go subdivide it again. And then drag it up here. And then mirror. So 
here. So it doesn't give the clearest proportion ideas, but you can kind of work with it. So there. Swing this out a bit, make it squish it down a bit more. And I think bring the head a bit forward. Okay, that's way too big for the head, for the body, I mean. That actually does look fun. Um, I think it's just the proportions of the sculpt or the rig, but oh, I think it just wasn't following them properly. <laughs> cool. And then maybe also bring the whole body up a bit there. Or maybe just make the neck a bit shorter. Doesn't need to be a huge neck or oh, a long neck. Still a big neck. Um, there. Okay. And then let's just add in the arms and legs now. So let's go add a cube or just add a cylinder. I'm going to make this like eight vertices and then kind of get it to the rough size. Okay. And then here and there. Okay. I think I also need to bring this pelvis down a bit to make it a bigger. And then this also needs to go in because like you'll have it go in like here, like the muscle wires and then kind of like go in for the knee. Yeah, that looks a bit more, I like better proportions. Okay, and then maybe we can bevel this. We'll just leave it like that, it's fine. Then we can go mirror this, just like here. Uh, oh no, not apply. Copy to selected. Yeah, that looks fun. And then, so the thighs will usually go like straight down and then the front will curve around like this. And then the, the calf will be like straight down and then the the back of it will curve. So kind of like goes like an S and then there's two straight lines. Um, so let's go add in another circle. It has the same eight vertices. Drag this down. Scale it down as well. Oh, I had a cylinder last time. Whatever, too bad. So here, go to oh wait, 32. Let's add a cylinder then. And then Alt G to reset the location and set my cursor back to the middle. Um, there. So let's drag it out to the right. Scale this down. And then drag this down for the ankle. Line it all up and then scale it up like this. I think the ankle is a bit too small. Okay. And then here, select this and copy to select it. Let's look at it without the rig, see if it looks fun. Let's add in, I think. Let's just rotate these slightly, bring it back. And also select the whole upper body and rotate that. It kind of gets a more balanced feel like this. And then also maybe bring the neck forward a bit, rotate it forward. Yeah, I think that looks good. Cool. And then we can go to shift a cube, subdivide this, subdivide it once for the knee just to kind of fill in the gap. Just helps us a bit when we're sculpting it. And there, let's mirror it. Just to make sure that we don't run into any problems when uh, like sculpting everything. And then for the foot, we can just go add another cube. So not a cube, cube. Uh, scale it down. We need to pace for this one and then just model something similar to your foot shape. Just drag this back there. Drag this down. And then just go to bottom view and kind of get a general foot shape. Maybe it's a subdivide it. Might look better. Uh, there. Add some more edges if it's not working or crease some parts of it like this. So 
we'll do a shift decrease um, and then maybe yes, this top I think is too squished along the x-axis and then I still like rotating the feet out and then bring that in bring in this forward and out yeah I think these are a bit too long this is S and Y okay There's the feet done. So now we can go mirror it. So we just go copy to selected. And there we go, we have the feet. Okay. And then we can alt H bring back the rig and do the arms. I'm just gonna make me sure I save my file. Just go the character block out. So same thing, just go add a cylinder. Make sure it's eight uh, vertices again. Doesn't matter that much because we're gonna re mesh it uh, soon. So yeah, then here yeah, just go S Z twice for the local. So there. Well, usually they're a bit. The bicep is like kind of flat from the front. So maybe so S uh, like X a little bit, and then just S Y quite a bit more, and then you can add an edge in the middle, and then I like to rotate it. Kind of goes like out for the bicep and out for the tricep as well. And I think that's sort of like this. Was it too small? I think this is also a bit too wide. Okay. And then mirror. So copy selected. Alt H. Add another cylinder. And then let's go add another one in the middle. Okay. And let's grab the same circle down here, the leg, and then bring it off the arm just to fill in the gap. So we don't run into problems later. There, that should be fun. Okay. And then we can just go mirror this selected. I think the forearm's just a bit too small. Maybe we bring this arm back up a bit. Bring the elbow in and then bring the forearm up. We have there. And then hand, let's make the hand. So we can do something similar to what we did with the foot. So kind of just grab a cube, subvert it. So just kind of go S there. And scale it down the X axis in the local. Okay. And then we can maybe apply this and then we can just apply the scale. And then kind of just change the shape of it like that. And then also create the space for the thumb and make the palm go in. Okay. And then you can also add in some kind of fingers. And then maybe also just subdivide it. I'm going to add edge twice and then just round it out a bit. Be like a finger. And then we can just go place it in on the hand, like here. And then if you press Alt and D, they'll all be like just linked when you duplicate them. Uh, or you can press Shift and D and leave it by default. Um, so they'll all kind of be like the same. So uh, if you sculpt it on one, it will sculpt on the other, um, or add modifiers or whatever. They all link to each other and then scale it down for the pinky so you can see if i go like move around well, i guess it's do alt d on the other ones um but if you change it it changes on both of them um so you can do that if you press alt d and then for the last one for the thumb so you can kind of change up the size of it so just go select this and alt s alt s and we have a block out. So we just need to wait, select all of these and then arm be selected and maybe even subdivide all of these fingers. And maybe just shift E to do it a little bit. And also I think we need to line them up a bit better with this hand. The hand is a bit thick, uh, but you can kind of just thin that out a bit with the grab brush. Um, and if you want to make these fingers a bit thicker, Alt and S, Alt S, 
Yeah, cool. And there we go. We have a block out of a character like this. So now this is ready to be sculpted. Go check out the links down below if you want to get some coaching or join my Discord. If not that, click on this video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy.